Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did you hear that lovely music? <laughs> I asked for, <laughs> asked for a little tune to come on to. Not a bloody hymn. Did you hear that? <laughs> no, no hat. Now, ladies, confessions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Now, tonight, I'm going to reveal uh, something to you, a part of me, which has never been a scene. Wait a minute, no. No, wait. <laughs> Shut your face a minute. Now, listen, no. I want to expose... A, uh, uh, no, wait a please. I must ask you to shut your faces a minute. Now, look, I want to bring out into the open something... Uh, <laughs> we got a right lot here tonight, haven't we? Common as muck. No, no, I want to, I want to tell you about a, a secret, a, a side of me, uh, something uh, big... Uh, uh, it's a... No, it's no. A, an incident, a secret incident, something you never heard about before in my life. Now, this is my clash with the government. I said the government. It wasn't exactly the government, all the government. It was a, a department, you see, of the government. Well, I, I, I say that a department. Actually, it was the National Health Service. <laughs> well, no, not all the National Health Service. Naturally, because, you know, one man against so many. No, it was a, uh, it was a hospital, really. Well, not the entire hospital, naturally. It was uh, a ward. Not the bricks and mortar, but some people in the ward. Anyway, the point was, there was a clash, you see. So I went for this operation, and, uh, wait a minute, get, no, no, not yet, no. Oh, there's some mileage in me yet, no, not that. It was for a tonsillectomy, tons, tonsillectomy, I've had the damn thing, I still can't say it, anyway, you know, anyway, down the throat, you see. And uh, this is the inside story. <laughs> and this is the one, and, um, yeah. The inside story of my operation in this hospital. Welcome to Bed Pan Alley. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Pettigrew. Managing things quite easily, are we? Well, I'm afraid I'm not used to hospital routine yet, Matron. Oh, well, it's only while Mrs. Green is away on holiday. Poor woman, you know, apart from anything else, she had a terrible case of arson, you know. Oh, poor Mrs. Green. She does enjoy bad health, doesn't she? <laughs> I don't think you quite understand, Miss Pettigrew. Her chimney was bunged up. Oh, <laughs> oh I do beg your pardon, Matron. Shop. Oh, I'm so sorry. I beg your pardon. You frightened the life out oh, of me. Oh, I'm so sorry. What, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> Very little I <laughs> I'm sorry. What? That was just a little joke. I'm sorry. You say, what can you do for me? And I said, well, I'm, I'm flattered all here, aren't I? Or perhaps it should be Mayor. Let's face it, she is a lady. <laughs> Excuse me, I've just explained some jokes, you see, to the audience. Excuse me. Yes. Actually, I'm here for a rather important operation. You understand? Operation. And um, I'm a bit nervous. Very nervous because I haven't had... Uh, well, I haven't been in a hospital, you see, since I was a tot. A little teensy wins in the whole oh, in the back. Oh, my back's locked. Oh, I've knotted me coccyx. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, it's wicked to mock the afflicted. No, oh, I'm in agony here. Oh. Have you come with your back? Yes. <laughs> We're rarely separated. I think I shall have to rub her out and draw her again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, look, I am. Um, what I is have... your name, sir? Pardon? What is your name? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, guy. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, um, well, ladies and gentlemen, ooh, ah, no, this is it, ooh, ah, please yourself, ooh, ooh, try a higher one, ooh. What is your name, sir? Mm, oh, she, she probably hasn't got a telly, I should think she lives alone. <laughs> Not surprising, is it, really? Actually, my name is a household word. Household word? Yes, like sink pump. Ah. <laughs> Name? Dracula. Mr. Dracula. Sick. Poor old soul. I should think she's past it, but I don't think she can even remember it. Come on. 
Uh, yeah, actually, my name, yes. Uh, sex? Uh, not at the moment, thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's too hot. It's far too hot. No. Um, my name, actually, my name is Howard. Howard, yes. Howard, uh, with an E. Howard, with an E where the A should be. Howard, with an E where the A should be. That's right, an E. Howard, with an A. No, no, an e, e where the A should be. Howard, you see. Howard, with an E where the A should be. That's right. Howard, with an E where the A should be. Howard. Howard, with an E. For God's sake, Harry, I'm going to... It's only a half an hour show, you know. I'll just go and look up today's patients. Yes, well, whatever turns you on. One there, you see one there. She said, I'll go look up today's patients. And I said, whatever well, turns you want. Well, look, I'm talking, do you mind? I'm trying to explain the jokes. We haven't got so many we can afford to waste them. <laughs> now, whatever. Oh, sorry, I don't know where I am now. What do you want, anyway? I know you. Do You're you? Frankie Howard, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you know my name. Ah, I've seen you on the telly. Have you? Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Yes, do. Mm. It's these bleeding <laughs> teeth. <laughs> me, mate. See you. Oh, listen. Did you ever see Jaws? <laughs> Look at them blinking in the blinking in the sunlight. Look at that. Isn't it awful? Well, uh, take hold of them. I'd rather die. Now, kindly restore them to your pudding muncher. Off you go. Now, where was we? That, oh, yes, that joke. You see, that, she went away, you see. She said, she said, That's I'm, the man. Oh, God, so you can't get a word in the edgeways. I'll explain later. Mr. Howard. Yes, Colonel. <laughs> may I ask why you're here? Yes, you may. I'm here to have a rather important operation. That's why I'm here. But your sub steward, Miss Droopy Draws, <laughs> uh, Miss to... Pettigrew is only temporary. You mean she might fall down? <laughs> There's one there, isn't there? Isn't that? Which reminds me, yes. I've seen your show. Zzz. Show. Zzz. <laughs> no, show. Uh, what did you think of it? Disgusting. I find your innuendos self indulgent and sociologically insignificant. <laughs> Intellectual cow. <laughs> Mrs. Miss. <laughs> it's understandable, isn't it? Yes. Look, whoever you are, sir or madam, I don't intend to stay here to be insulted. The exit is there on your left. Indeed it is. <laughs> and I shall take it as rapidly as possible. Thank you and good morning. Yes. Oh, look. <laughs> Pinky and perky. <laughs> This puts a different complexion on things entirely. Oh, yes. Excuse me, matron. Is Miss Pettigrew here? Uh, no, she's still resting, nurse, after trying to deal with this Mr. Howard here. Oh. You may show him out, please. Thank you, matron. Yes, I'd be glad to. This oh, way. no, 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 please, please. No, look, let's not be hasty after all. I mean, Pax? Pax? Fay nights? <laughs> I've nothing to go. I've nothing, I've nothing to hold against this uh, young lady here. <laughs> yet. Mr. Howard, are you? prepared to enter Ward 6 or are you not? Ah. Well, well are you? Well. Well, are you? Madam, <laughs> must you raise your ass to me? <laughs> well, are you? Yes, I am. Right. Right. Good. Well, you'll hurt yourself if you go up high like that. Show him into Ward 6, please, nurse. Yes, matron. And straight into bed with him, mind. Oh, yes, matron. matron. <laughs> Mr. Howard, you are asking for it. Oh, no, you are for it. You <laughs> <laughs> what cell are we in? Here we are, Mr. Howard. Oh, oh, thank you. It's quite a nice little chamber, isn't it, I must say. I have to share a room, I, I suppose. That's right. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. How are you? How are you? Oh! Oh! <laughs> you are doing very well. Very, yeah, very, very pleased with you. You're doing very well indeed. <laughs> I'll give him three weeks. Um, nurse, what's wrong with that poor man? Oh, don't you know, same thing as you, tonsillectomy. God, <laughs> They must have taken him out with a hacksaw. Oh, no! <laughs> he had a nasty accident when he fell off the operating table. Oh, sweet! Well, thank you for the bulletin, but look, don't make up the bed. I shall not be in residence. Oh, no, Mr Howard! I was only joking. He oh. had a slight accident, that's all. Oh, oh. The clothes are off. What did, I mean, with you peering at me? <laughs> oh, now. 
Yes. I see. Well, you're bashful, eh? No, no. Well, in a way, I suppose. After, well, let's say, I do have something to boast about, you know, really. Yes. They are both. Shut your faces. God. They are both beautifully marked. I'm talking about my tattoos. Will you wait? the speeches to end, please. Oh, you are a wife. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think she would? <laughs> I think she'd play, don't you? I think so, yes. Not with everybody else, but with me. Because I love, oh, I love a game of Ludo. Oh, I love Ludo. Oh, yes. Love Ludo. Now, we shall now start with this robing ceremony. There we are. What do you think of that? Oh, yes, oh, yes. I should say so. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can't be too careful these days. They're everywhere now, you know. Oh, all over the place. They're as thick as flies. Flies. Oh, say, oh, you are! You're as bad as you are. Not go hot of a heart <laughs> A man's delirious, he must be. Bottle, bottle! Oh, you've got a bottle, all right. I'll get it for you. Don't worry, don't work yourself up. All right, here we are. <laughs> Please! How dare you! Look, if I choose to lag my legs, look, that's my business. Walk yourself up into a tantrum. Anyone would think you'd never had a drink before. Now, where is it? Down there. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, uh, well, I can't see any bottles. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. I uh, see. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's empty. I'll go and fill it. No! <laughs> hey? No, no, All right, no. I'll, I'll get the nurse. I'll get the nurse to fill get it. The nurse. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> no, I didn't realise. What the hell? Oh, dear. Uh, yes, one of those. I wonder why that's such a weird shape. Look, you see. I suppose in case you're left hand, I say it. Now, what? You mustn't get too technical. Sort out for yourselves later. Now, no, 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 I can't wait. You have to wait. You have to wait. Force yourself. No. Forget that. Forget that. Quick, there's a man here. Quick, quick, quick. I'm going to. Oh, you can't go to. Oh, dear. What do hospital people do in cases like this? Um, yes, well, um, now tell me, where does it hurt? <laughs> it's a bloody stupid question, isn't it? I know where it hurts. The thing is, where what? Please help me with all this. Right. Please. Where's the aperture? I mean, we... <laughs> they fold these beds like envelopes in hospital. Oh, the... that's it. We we'll have to strip the bed. Now wait a minute. Be careful. <laughs> It's one pole. It's two pole three well. Well, also to do in hospital, do a bit of knitting or something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm knitting something for my landlady, as a matter of fact. I'm not sure where, where, yet whether it's going to be a tea cosy or a pair of knickers, but still. <laughs> She'd appreciate it, poor soul. Now, knit three, pearl three. Really, Mr Howard, I don't know what we're going to do with you. Well, for a start, you can take out... Tonsillectomy. Bless you, that's right. That is up to Dr Smelly. Dr who? <laughs> Smelly. What a pretty name, isn't it? It's like poetry on a wall. Yeah, yeah, listen, the nurse, talking of, of graffiti, graffiti, you know, graffiti, you know, rude writing, you know. Yeah. And last week, I was standing, having, I was, uh, there was a, <laughs> listen, listen, there was a wall, you see. You, well, it wouldn't be like, in, it was, and, and someone at the top had written, the wall, had written, stop it, it stunts your growth. <laughs> and right down at the bottom, somebody else had written, now he tells us. <laughs> Thank God she's not sitting in the audience, I'll tell you that. You can save it for the clubs. I got it from the clubs. <laughs> Dr Smelly will be coming round in a moment. I didn't know he'd fainted. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm sorry, you win. All right, nurse, I'm sorry. I shan't try to brighten your drab lives any longer. No. I shall forgo my shafts of wit. That's a tricky sentence. <laughs> shafts of wit. Well, you try saying that. All together. Shafts of wit. 
She had a near miss up there. Yeah, Shots of wit. All right, then. Uh, well, I managed it. What are you Nothing moaning no for? Way, way. Listen, I've done my best for you. I tried to help you. And you look, you've skimmed all my elbow, you did. <laughs> bottle, bottle. <laughs> The man is obsessed. <laughs> you have to make your own arrangements, I'm sorry. Nurse! Nurse! All right, all right. You want the nurse, the one with the big prospects? All right. <laughs> nurse! Don't strain yourself. I'll get it for you. Don't worry. Nurse! Nurse! Mr. Howard! Oh, good. Look out. The enema approaches. <laughs> Howard. Yes, sir. Will you kindly stop yes, making so much noise? You'll wake up the entire hospital. Well, I was shouting on behalf of that poor gentleman there. He wanted that nurse, you know, the one with everything in front of her. <laughs> that is hardly the way to refer to Nurse Barron. Barron? I hope you realise that you are upsetting poor Mr. Coxbar. What is she saying? <laughs> poor Mr. Coxbar. I thought that's what she said. <laughs> Coxburgh, there's some funny names in this world, haven't they? Coxburgh, Baron, Smelly. <laughs> Just for the record, matron, what is your name? Miss Deirdre Scuttlebutt. Oh, Dame <laughs> Scuttlebutt! Are you quite comfortable, Mr. Coxburgh? Must have the old bottle. Yes, you must have your bottle, yes, of course. Hello, hello, hello. How are we all today? Now, what's going on in here? Oh, that, uh, that gentleman there's just whetting his appetite. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah. I know that face. Uh, what is it now? Howard. Now, don't tell me. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's, um... Howard. Um... Uh, Howard. 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 Howard That's... Frankie. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget your last show. Oh. Laugh? I thought I'd never start. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, shouldn't you be back in the crypt? It's nearly dawn. All that bit where you were papering the wall, oh, very funny. That was Des O'Connor. <laughs> papering Des O'Connor? Now, dear. Well, you all look alike to me. Thank you, Enoch. <laughs> well, 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 I am Dr. Smelly. Yes, I bet he's a right stinker. <laughs> You could see that one coming up, couldn't you? Well, you well, it's not bad. You've heard worse, haven't you? Haven't you? You will for the night, sir. Time for a little examination. Yes. Oh! Sore, is it? It is now, yes. <laughs> Have you had it before? Yes. Well, you've got it again. Oh, oh. oh it is topical wit, yes. Well, I always say, laughter is the best medicine, don't you agree? Oh, you're right, I do agree, yes. Helps to keep your pecker up. Oh, it does. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he who laughs, laughs. Laughs longest. So true, so true. Yes. Laugh and the ward laughs with you. Yes, that's very good, yes. <laughs> Silly bugger. <laughs> well done, Matron. Been whetting his appetite, eh? <laughs> you could use that one, Mr. Frankie. <laughs> I just did, yes. I'll just go and empty this, Doctor. Oh, not to bother, Matron. Just pop it in my pocket for a quick nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's a riot at cocktail parties. <laughs> Come on, old man, out of business. Yeah. Now, open wide. Uh, what? Uh, no, oh. your mouth. <laughs> Make yourself what? Stick out your tongue and say ah. 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 Great Scott. Ah. Ah. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. Ah. Ah. Matron, look, quick. Ah. Oh, heavens, what is it? Ah. That tongue. What's wrong with my tongue? It's got a coat on it. Exactly the same pattern as one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Opportunity is not for you for the last time. I'm not laying here, listening to all my old gags, worse delivered than me. I've got some vestige of self-respect. I'm going. Oh, come I now. Am. Just I a am. little joke. Yes, very little. Oh, yeah. We shall have your tonsils out double quick. Chop, chop. Oh. <laughs> the delicacy of it. Oh, dear. Oh, Yes! It's his trousers. <laughs> Here you are, <laughs> Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Impressions already. It's like a sterilised who do you do? Well, I'm not staying here to be carved up by Dr. Cribben there. Oh, no! Once he starts chopping, there's no nowhere to stop. <laughs> you're not feeding us, Mr. Oh, Howard. I am, I am. I'm taking Oh, no, my... you're not. What? To bed. And besides, you've got a visitor. Visitor? Is she pretty? Not very. It's uh, a man. Oh, dear. Well, anything must be more amusing than that old blue bottle there. Oh, oh, well, it's my agent. It's my agent. I didn't know they had leeches in hospitals these days. <laughs> Come to cheer you up, Bill. Frank. 
<laughs> oh, Frank, yes, that's right, Frank. Howard. Have you had it yet? <laughs> the op. No, I've only been here an hour, haven't I? Oh, that's good. What? That's a bit of luck because I've got a couple of contracts for you to sign. Contracts? What do you mean now? Yeah, it's better to be ready for any eventualities. What eventualities? Oh, look, believe me. What? This late? It's only the. Oh, it's only the honor of the contract in case anything happens to you. What? Nothing's going to happen to me, is it? Let's face it. It's just a little case of tonsillectomy. Ah! I did it! Who's going to do it for you? Yes, I have. It's a doctor. He's a comic. He's a scream. Dr. Smelly. What? Smelly, yeah. Not Butcher Smelly! What? <laughs> oh, what? I like Frankie Shine! Oh, no, don't say Are that. Are you the one for the shave? Pardon? Are you the one for the shave? Shave? Well, I, I don't know. It could be. I I'm so I'm flustered ready now. now. Uh, do you do a haircut as well? <laughs> I'll have a Robert Redford if you do. What is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do you think you're travelling down to? Are you Mr Coley and Ward 5? I'm not Mr Coley and this is not Ward 5. Do you mind, oh, please? Oh, dear, wrong Ward. You are a nuisance. I'm a nuisance. Would you believe it? One slip of that razor blade and Bob's your auntie. I'm not staying here. I'm not staying this hot Freddy, you've got to stay here. I'm not staying here. Think of the contract. I am the too film. young. I'm too young to be this oh, boy. Oh, you must go. Don't go. I'm going. I'm sorry. I can't stay here any longer. Hospital or no hospital. Oh, Bill, Bill, Bill. Pay the bloody bill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going. Mr. Hard, where on earth do you think you're going? Back to the YMCA. I tell you, I'm not <laughs> oh, now then, old lad, stiff up a lip and all that. I'll go and polish a chopper. Now. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, help me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> you.